Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, we are going to be playing some Keeper into Sweden 6. And we got board A here randomized, and let's go. Alright, and starting Explorer's Wetland, Royal Backing is Jungle. Okay, so, looking at this board... Okay, so, Keeper into Sweden 6. This is a pretty bad matchup, and that's because Sweden is very front-loaded. They want to do a lot of damage early on, and then um, steamroll the player. And then Keeper doesn't really um, turn on until that turn 3. And sometimes Sweden can get underneath them. This is a good example of what I'm talking about here. Where, um, like, if we ever get that stage 2 as jungle, I'm going to be just devastated. Um, I really need to see mountain. Wetlands this is also tough because, like, I have no solution for this wetland. And also, um, I mean, A2 is likely uh, blighting, and then I'll have to uh, minor, mining rush into A1. So let's get a, a power card with Keeper. Very standard Keeper builds. We're going to go um, to 4 energy and then 3 plays. So we're looking for a defense. That's the most important thing here. We ended up getting Sky Stretch, which is also very, very powerful, even though it's not a defend. Um, we are going to just grab uh, Sky Stretch, as that could be uh, critical to us uh, winning later in the game. We're going to grow. We're going to go from top track, and we are going to be playing Boon of Growing Power. There could be an argument doing regrow. Like, I can play regrow. I can remove this Blight, and then I can try to... Um, I can then uh, try to solve this land. I mean, I, I think I'm supposed to just do Boon of Growing Power instead and then try to play around um, two drafts. Okay, so Mountain, that's great for us. Um, let's Boon of Growing Power for a Miner. And let's see what we get. Looking for a defense still. Did not get it. Oh, this is going to be a really rough game. I mean, I did get Entrancing, but Defend 2 is not enough against uh, 4 damage. Purifying Flame could be good, as it's a way for me to do um, damage. It's uh, Blight Healing, uh, Tri Element. I'm just going to go with this card. Yeah, this is this is going to be pretty pretty brutal for us, I think. Let's go Purifying Flame. We're going to use our right in A tier, stopping the build, pushing this Explorer out. This is another uh, bad problem with this board, is we start off in the corner here, and it's going to take a while for us to um, reach the other area of our board. Let's place our Presence, and then we are going to pay some energy... Get another miner. Come on, give us a defense. There it is. So nature's resilience. We barely, barely found it, though. Um, it might be too late. So we'll see. Because we'll take two blight here, take two blight here, and then I think we'll have a game for us. Presence from bottom track. We're gonna push this to Han over here into the wetland, so I can get a little bit of a counter attack. We'll be playing that defend uh, six. We'll likely be playing this card every turn for the rest of the game. And Purifying Flame is not good enough because the Blight is Jungle Wetland. I guess I'm going to do Regrow here, as I can heal one of the Blights in one of these lands. I wonder if I'm actually supposed to play Towering Wrath here. Because Towering Wrath, plus my innate, my left innate, will deal enough damage to clear out my 8-8, which could be very potent. Though, I think I'm supposed to go with Regrow. Just so that, um, because I have Sky Stretch, right? So, like, I'll always be able to make Towering Wrath fast. And if I play Towering Wrath this turn, I won't be able to double grow to three plays next turn. So, I think I do this. Defense 6. Grim Toll. Okay. Here's Mean. We'll Ravage here. We have to Blight here. Mining Rush over here into A1. And that's going to cause a City build. So, pretty rough. And look at that. There's that Jungle Explorer that I was, um, just upset about. Um... Yeah, because now, I mean, this is the one negative of me not doing the Towering Wrath play, but I still think I can do that next turn. Yeah, I can. So I, it's it's probably okay. So I think I'm supposed to use this while it's here. I'll probably take the two blight as well on the jungle, just trying to stabilize. And then, yeah, this is this is rough. Um, presence from bottom track. We're going to double grow again. This time we're going to get the miner first. Oh, okay. Lure of the Unknown is great. Nature's Connection is great. Okay, now we're cooking. So what I'm thinking here... So I think I gotta go uh, Towering Wrath plus Sky Stretch, which means I want to be playing a zero-cost card here. So it's either gonna be Nature's Connection or um, Lure of the Unknown. I think I'm supposed to go Lure of the Unknown here. 
we, we put this presence right here, allowing me to push my Dahan and pair up all my Dahan over here on A5. Now I can play Towering Wrath, Sky Stretch, Lure of the Unknown. And now I have the three Sacred Sites, so when I make my Sky Stretch, making Towering Wrath fast, that will obliterate everything here. Just completely clearing the land, which is what we were hoping for. And I'll have my Innate, this Innate, at range 3 to the coast, because the Sky Stretch, so I'll actually be able to hit this coastal land here. I think this looks pretty good. I'm actually really happy with this position. I think I... Do I lure the unknown out? I don't think so. I think I just have this card here. Just because. I don't think I'm, so, I'm supposed to use it. I'll take the two Blight. I go Blighted. And then we'll kind of go from there. Missionaries. We have one, two. We have three Sun. Oh, we can easily pay for this though. By discarding, because we're going to reclaim next turn, we're going to add that disease. We're going to add it over here to the wetland, trying to soften that land up. Beast destroy. Ooh, strife in the land of the Han. I guess I can go here. Okay, I still have to mining rush. I'm going to mining rush over here into A6, because I want to avoid Sweden escalation on A5. Oh, aid from Lester. This is what happened last time I played Keeper. This is, um, we're keeping it because that's that's my rules. Um, and of course, we got to keep the power again. Um, I think I'm actually supposed to go. Yeah, let's go give the power. Sands is the follow up. Okay, can we. There. So yeah, we get, we get hit with the blight from festering pits. I think we're actually st we stabilized here. Um, so we have this innate at plus three range because the sky stretch. This is going to be doing five damage. Beautiful, just clears that land out. Get the power on ourselves. Okay, so we have Call of the Tanaways, Rights. We have Gold's Allure. I believe I'm supposed to go with... Probably... Gold's Allure. I don't think it matters. I actually think we've won the game at this point. We're in a very good spot. We have the right innate. I can push that Explorer out. Throw him over here. And now I'll be able to grow. Eventually push those to Han into A4. And then defend A4. So we're going to reclaim. Presence from bottom track. And as I've stated before. We're just going to go to 5 plays. And every turn we're going to reclaim. Place Presence. So we have effectively 6 energy a turn. And 5 plays. I mean that nothing can really beat that. Um, and we're going to make sure we can heal as much Blight as we can. Because that's the only way we can lose... I'm even going to play Sky Stretch here to make my Blight healing fast. And the only reason is because I want to, um, I don't want to get edge cased. And like, that's the only way I can lose in this situation. We'll also do Towering Wrath. Okay. The so Sky Stretch herself. We're going to use that to make regrow fast, healing that Blight. Okay, Cities Fries. Oh, depleted soil. Okay. Beast Push. Uh, I'm just going to leave the buildings here. It's okay. Actually, just kidding. We will push the um, we'll push this town over here, so I have I can easily kill it. Jungle ravage, sands build, explorers mountain, perfect. Okay, so we are going to do towering wrath here, killing both of those towns. We're going to be using our innate. Remember, we have that plus three damage or that plus three range, so we're able to hit the coasts, and that's why that that sky stretch draft on turn one is pretty bonkers on keeper because it enables this zero range left innate to clear your edge case lands. So, very very nice. Um, sure, here's all of that. Purifying flame, just healing that blight, just trying to keep all of that nice and clean. Pushing that explorer over there, adding wilds, and we'll get another miner here. Really doesn't matter what I draft. Um, I guess I'll go with. I guess I'll go with called isolation. I don't think it really matters. We're gonna reclaim, place our presence from bottom track as I mentioned. Now I'm at that six six five. I'm gonna push all of those Dahan into the sands, just slowly inching our way closer and closer to the coast. I'm gonna be playing that sky stretch again going to be playing that nature's resilience to defend this land i'm going to be playing called isolation so i can push this town out i'll be playing that purifying flame to clean up that blight on the coast here i'll be going with um i think i'm actually supposed to go with a fire card here go with that gold's allure actually we'll do towering wrath sure called isolation 
Push this town out. Defend six. This guy's stretch. And I'm gonna make, um, I guess purifying flame fast, healing that blight. Defensive buildings, okay. Stricken and Southers encroach, okay. Does that matter? Oh, I can remove three health of invaders. Are we close to winning? If we're close. Explore was the follow up, was wetland, beautiful. And we'll use that innate because we have that extra range. Um, so unfortunately, Tower and Wrath does nothing, so we just get it for three fear. Left innate, we have that plus three range. We're going to use that nuking um, this wetland here. Cleans up everything there nicely. And we're going to use that right innate. Throwing a wiles there. Get a miner again. We'll use Razor Sharp, and that will allow us to win the game over here. And I'm going to show you what I mean in a second. We'll reclaim. Placing a presence in there. We'll do Sky Stretch. Razor and Sacrosanct. We use Sky Stretch to give us plus three range. We're going to use Razor to add another Wilds here. And then we have Sacrosanct doing two damage per Wilds, clearing both uh, towns in A3. And that is it. That's GG. So a very a solid game with Keeper into, um, into Sweden 6. This is not a good matchup. Um, I mean, we had some good luck, we had some bad luck, it, it kind of evened out, but if I missed that defense six here on the Sweatland, I would have just lost. So, um, something to keep in mind. Now, you do have three drafts, so I missed on the first draft, missed on the second draft, and then eventually I hit. Um, and I believe per the most recent, uh, someone did some math on Reddit, and they said you have a 50% chance of drawing a defend on, with the first draft, which, um, yeah, so we didn't get so lucky with drafting defense until we, we finally got there, but... It was a fun game. Um, this is always a very intense matchup with Keeper.